Bangladesh experienced one of the longest school closures during the COVID-19 pandemic. Educational institutions remained fully closed for more than 500 days. Thirty-seven million children were affected by the pandemic because of the school closures. The COVID-19 impact will be particularly high for students from low-income households, and some of them become out-of-school children. It is important to bring out-of-school children, especially girls, back to school to prevent early marriage and child labor. Fortunately, Bangladesh developed secondary school stipend program over three decades, and it was instrumental in school reopening. Coronakalin Chomer for school Jokon Abanotun Kore, Jaluhoi Tokon, Ami Amar Poriba, Hoyto Radigar, the Patama, Judi Ami, a Bitita Napeta, are a Bitita Napele, Hoyto Amake Upper General Journal, Katko Tehutu, are Ami Bitita Pe Kubi Upokrito Abang Kritogo. Let's briefly look back to the history of this stipend program. After small pilots in 1980 and in early 1990s, the Ministry of Education in Bangladesh began female secondary school stipend program from 1994. The girls have to satisfy three conditions to receive cash stipend. First, girls have to attend 75% of school days. Second, girls have to attend 45% in class level test score. Third, girls need to remain unmarried until completion of secondary school certificate examination. It was a pioneering conditional cash transfer program in the world at that time. Since then, uh, Asian Development Bank, working closely with uh, our uh, development partner, has been supporting this female secondary stipend program through a series of projects and programs. Bangladesh <laughs> Initial stipend delivery was cash, which later became bank transfer and mobile banking. At the outset of the pandemic, 1.2 million secondary school students received stipend through mobile banking by giving millions of students and their parents access to regulated financial service. Vikash is allowing students now to get stipend in their hands without any hassle. ADB conducted quasi-experimental impact evaluation research comparing girls who received stipend after 1994 and girls who could not receive stipend before 1994. The girls were followed up after 24 years to see the long-term impacts. As intended, the stipend program caused 2.5 additional years of schooling, 10.2 percentage points increase in secondary school completion, and 1.4 years of delayed marriage. Surprisingly, in addition to benefiting girls, the brothers in the same household also increased access to school. Moreover, the stipend recipient girls got married with better educated and employed husbands. They were more likely to use contraceptives and had lower total fertility rate. More mothers preferred girls for their children. The stipend program changed the life trajectories of millions of children in Bangladesh with relatively low cost. The cost-benefit analysis suggested that benefits outweighed the social cost by over 200%. The stipend had truly transformational impacts and helped COVID-19 recovery. Corona re durjuge shomoy amar meer babar chakri chole geshe. Ekarone amar meer porashona ekebare bondho hoye jacchilo. Ekhon ei ADP je upobhiti diyeche eta pe ami amar meer poralekha chaliye jacchi.